Today we're going to review the A20M from Gitech. My name is Bashar and this Stock 3D Printing. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. It's my favorite part. Now, let's see what's inside the box. The manual. Ooh, look at this. Color manual. Guide how to living, to do the bit leveling. The power cord. Look at this. Get for my mouse part. And water and some cable. That's not bad. The BQ, some syrup, look at this, USB and white and black filament. By the way, Geetech, they have good filament. I buy some filament from a long time ago. I have black, I think I have green. Their filament is good, I like this one. Ooh, look at this, that's gonna be a lot of build. Okay, there's two for the two filament. Two drive. Oh, this is the filament sensor. And the four and the girder. That's nice. I like the, the fan. No problem. We'll see it later. That's not bad. The two extruder. Let's see what's inside more. This is the plate. And this is the printer piece. Nice. I like cable here. All the stuff inside. Guys, if you like me, start opening this and see it. Just let me know in the comment. But I really don't like to open this stuff. Uh, screen is basic. That's so far what's in the box. Now I'm gonna assemble it. to buy dual color printer or be able to print dual color or multiple color was very something I was really looking to do it as a next stage in my for in the printer. Why? Because you will save time and money and I think will be better quality. For example, like if you print something with two color, you will print them separate and after you print them separate, you need to glue them and this will take time and sometimes the glue doesn't look nice. All these stuff. And, and when I start thinking and looking around to find, to buy one printer dual color, I find they're expensive, they're those ones stock uh, or I need to go through upgrading the hot end and changing sooner and I really don't feel comfortable because I have full-time job and I like to have something 3d printing stock like what well, that why my channel is stock 3d printing that's why I find the the A20M the Geetech is interested and I, re I really like to try it and see what's come the result the printer arrived in like I said in the time box when I open it was have everything in it all the Allen, uh, Allen keys and all the tools I was happy there was nothing missing and there was some extra screw and um, my, my mouse pad and all these stuff nice I really love it I love the packaging I love everything was amazing and awesome when it come to assembling was this really simple take me 30 minutes and I would say this was two or three part it's the gator here with the base and the extruder up and down and the holder for the filament and everything was ready to go now when I start printing I was level I did the bed leveling was doesn't take too much time it was take five minutes and after that I check the memory card come with the with the printer and I find this only this guy and the results good I used the simple filament come with the packaging it was good I like it have no problem this was beautiful i sliced the pen sheet to see how's the printer doing with the one color and turns out it's good now the next step was i'm trying to you i i slice this without change the setting for dual color in the slicer i do it in the gathering here in the printer and turns out good 
with some issue here and there but as a new printer you need to change stuff and tuning and stuff until you get that perfection after that i slice with the the dual extruder and i assign for each of those layer the color black yellow black yellow like this in the cura i use cura 4.8 i use the profile was already there in the cura which is something good turns out it's beautiful amazing but the only issue maybe you can notice it's there is diff like the the yellow is not like really yellow there was mixed a little bit with the black because when i did the the prem tower which is should be clean the nozzle for you from the old filament i use very small one and you can still see there is some black here after that i increase the the tower rim or oh, sorry before that i print also this guy and i still have small uh prim tower was not big and still good look at this beautiful but as usual i was very hairy when i see my stuff come out and i remove it very quickly and i broke the print but as the most important part is the black and the, the silver and turns out is really good and not bad after that i increase the tower and i print uh catch you from pokemon and you can can see turns out very good after we increase the prim tower i think that's 40 and uh, turns out perfect and look at that all the nice color the orange and yellow turns out perfect without any issue and i really love it and i, I print like three or four of them for my kids and the last thing i print it's uh the safety cone and turns out perfect without any issue look at this i'm so happy again but the most thing was really concerned me it's the amount of the filament you can uh waste when you come try to print stuff like this but i think that will save uh, time for you and it's, it's not that like gonna be there what's kind of was what i like what i don't like with the printer i like the idea for have stock 3d printing with a dual color print the good thing also it's uh profile was profiled in cura and was ready to go to use need a, lo a, a little bit of tune and change stuff like this but in general was the experience not very bad the things i don't like it's the manual was very poor. I was wishing to find more details at the manual. Like most of people when they buy a printer, they look for the manual to see how to use the printer. And I like the manufacturer all the time, consider the people who buy the printer as a, that their first printer. I felt like the idea for the printer is not for first printer, that is like your second or maybe your third. That's why you should be no, you didn't need too much details and guiding how to use it. The second thing was the memory card was empty consider except the one g code i was expecting more details a profile for cura or or whatever another slicer at least in the memory card you can use it as you usually those cura profile they're not all the time good uh that's why you need all these changing and tuning and all these stuff the last thing i really really bother me and i really can't stand it it's the best i don't know uh, in this stage of kind of like time i was expecting to see some glass that's there is not problem or, or flexible but this kind of bed make me I don't know I feel they're not perfect they take too much time sometimes to level them and hard time to remove the the stuff from the print for for example this guy's I broke it when I'm trying to take it off because I'm printing in this way and also my poor guy uh, aliens here <laughs> haven't same and I really don't like it I wish to ha they have glass or they have different thing I don't know why they did this I don't know why that extra things here I wish not here at all that's because I keep hit that and you can see it start come out and Another thing I was really wishing to find it, it's the when you the things here for the knob for to adjusting your bed is really small. I was hoping to, to see something big like others, like under three or they're really big and nice and, and they're good. Uh rather than that, that was general for me what I like, what I don't like. Now, did I recommend this printer for somebody just to start in the 3D printing? <laughs> I'll be honest in this, I would say no. This is not supposed to be your first printer. There's a lot of to try until you get that perfection and result like this uh, if you want to buy it as a first 3d printing then go ahead but you need to first learn how to print in one color like punchy and all this stuff or uh, the printer with the gathering here like in mix it in in the framework when it's already printing and slice but if you from first time you're planning to have to achieve that will be will be a little will it take for you to time to learn and and find the best uh sitting in, in in the slicer i don't print a lot i don't print big stuff because you can see how much filament i already spent when just print two of these guys uh that's why i was avoiding to print big stuff and maybe in the future i will print big stuff and i will maybe post as a time lapse and we see what's the result 
Uh, as a business, I think it's a good idea. Um, the other thing I was really noticed it's uh, there is not too much uh, dual color STL file in in Thinkiverse or any website. I was feeling all the time thinking, looking for something to print. I was doesn't find a lot of stuff. Uh, that's why another thing. Now, if you try to print like a logo or a key change with the two color, I think it would be a good choice to go with something like this. But if you're looking for something more complicated and uh, action figure like this, uh, you will not have too much stuff or you would do your own design. Uh, definitely I will, I like the, how it's built strong and all this stuff. But as I mentioned, this is not for, for somebody just to start 3D printing. Uh, this is somebody like to upgrade and go to this next level, which is dual color. I really recommend it for you. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channels and happy 3D printing.